So from the previous video we learned that we can go to Revit and we can link either from the shared folder or we can link files from the consume folder that gets created once we go to design collaboration and we consume a package from other team and I think it's worth to to understand a little bit further how how it works so basically share the share portion is not controlled by you in in terms of of your team let's say that i am assuming the position of of the furniture team the second team so you control what you publish here because you have to create the package and whatever you create uh, as a package is going to be updated here in this folder so other whatever is under shared other themes they can see that file and and they and they can decide either or not or not consume that 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 file so basically the share folder it is for to see the work or from other teams but then the consume folder is to see is is what you decide to consume internally from other teams like for instance let's say that the architectural team uh, they they released uh, they released a, a portion of their work but but it is not it is incomplete so if if I link that if I link that model incomplete model from the share folder it will look bad on my sheets if I have to print them out or something like that so the way like if if i if i'm linking that to happen that that could happen if if i'm using the the the, the Revit model under the share folder but if i am consuming the files under the consume folder i can decide which package i wanna i wanna i wanna use for my model so for instance i don't want to use the latest and greatest so I will just keep my model using the the previous version of 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 the architectural file and wait until this is complete and will wait until the next release or something like that so I can I can use the the latest and greatest and I can decide which which pack package I want to consume from the architectural file. So we we played as uh, we've been uh, assuming that we are from the architectural team, but uh, now I just want to create a new. I mean, we. I'm sorry. We we've been uh, assuming that we are from the furniture team, but for now I want to to create a new package as we are uh, part of the architectural team. So I am updating this. We did a couple of changes to the model. So let's save it and let's share it. So a new package was created right here. Uh, also notice that we haven't consumed any of the foreign term files. So we, we see the icon as uh, empty, blank inside. Um, so now we're gonna go to, to the foreign term and to the foreign term team and consume this new file. So as the foreign term team, we're gonna reload this so it was shared with all the teams in this case we just have two but it was shared and, and it is listed here as a uh, white inside so it means that it hasn't been consumed yet so we probably say that we want to do it and we can click on it hit consume and it will show up in the in our folder right now in the team folder to be more precise so I found out that when you when you are consuming a file and if you have if you are doing something in Revit uh, for example this is the this is the furniture file and we were trying to link the architectural file here so I think there is an error here because uh, I'm trying to I was trying to link the the consume file but this was open all the time 
even before I, I started to consume the file. So the file was still here consuming and I think was generating an error and now I cannot close Revit so so just be be careful when when you're consuming files maybe you know synchronize your file and, and don't do it I am not 100% sure that this happened but hopefully out of this you're gonna listen to these videos and you'll find out anyways uh, as the as the furniture team, we consumed the latest and greatest architectural file, and now we can link it into Revit. Now, I just want to finish saying that uh, there are a couple of other more radical ways to to do this, and it would be basically to work in the way that we were used to work with uh, collaboration for Revit. So we can just create one team, and we can put all of the people in there and they will be able to to always have that one source of truth but you you will lose control of the packages it, like for instance uh, uh, it will be it will be the actual live model every time that you you open the file and, and your links will update as as they are updating from from other people from other people is, is, is working on them on them so just that thing to consider and the other the other thing if you want to give them more permissions so also remember that if you are not a project admin you won't have access to the plans portion so it depends you know there is a trade-off between small and, and big teams and, and those are the things that you have to consider once you give them permission maybe smaller teams are more, more comfortable giving permission to to, to all of them as admins and they will they will do whatever they want if, if, if they know what's right for their workflow but you know as, as the teams uh, are bigger it, it gets more complicated thanks